Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I'm doing another author spotlight and it's on Katie Evans. So I don't own all of Katie's books. I have only three of them and she's written in total 15. So I don't own them all but I have read every single book of hers so I feel like I still wanted to do an author spotlight and just talk about her books and which ones I recommend and all that kind of stuff. So I discovered Katie's books actually when Real was kind of everywhere and like lots of people were, read were reading it, which was back in like 2013. I probably read in 2014. I kind of read it in like around that time. And I just fell in love with her stories and her characters and I have been reading her books ever since. And her books are more new adult, adult romance, and I don't really recommend them for everybody. They are definitely on the higher end of the new adult, adult spectrum. I feel like a couple of her books could be considered slight erotica. So, yeah. Yeah, let me share all of her books. So I'll start with each series and then the standalones. The real series is Real, Mine, Remy, Rogue, Ripped, Legend, and Racer. And I would say that Real, Mine, and Remy, you have to read together. Like those follow the same characters, but the next four in the series don't follow the same characters, they're considered more standalones, but they are part of the same world, if that makes sense. Now on to the Manhor series. Manhor, Manhor plus one, Miss Manhor, Ladies Man, and Womanizer. Then uh, the White House series, which is a duology, Mr. President, Commander in Chief. And then you have a standalone, which is Tycoon. So I've read all of her books and I love them all. I think I've given majority of them four stars and I just love her books. They're so addicting and they're so good and her, the men that she writes in her books are just so swoon worthy. I love her characters and everything. They're just terrific. So I would say my favorites are probably the books in her real series. Those are my favorite as well as the man whore. I liked the White House series, but it wasn't what I wanted it to be. I did really like it, but it wasn't top notch for me. Um, Tycoon was also a little disappointing, I think, but it was still great. Like it's, it's still a good new adult romance or like just romance in general, but it just wasn't I wasn't in love with it, you know? So my favorite books are definitely the ones that I currently own, clearly because they're the only ones that I own. Um, so Legend is one of my favorites. I've read this a total of three times. I love it so, so, so much. I feel like I've talked about it a lot and it was in my 2016, no. Yeah, 2016 favorite books list. Um, I just love this book. And then I really love Man Whore. I love this cover though. Like there's just something about it that I love. But um, yeah, I love this series, book one and book two, and then the little novella I really love. So this one's terrific as well. Um, this one's a little bit more erotica, I would say, in my opinion. And then obviously her newest book, which is Racer, which I've talked about in my wrap up, about how much I loved this book. And I just, I adore this book and I definitely need to reread it like ASAP, even though I read it like two weeks ago, but I still really, really love it. But if you want to start Katie's books, I highly recommend you start with a real because that is her most known book. It, in my opinion, is one of her better books, even though the writing is not amazing. And if you're into over-the-top dramatic love stories, you will love the real series because that's kind of what the first like two books are really about. They're over-dramatic and 
like over the top and I love them. But if you want something more sweeter, kind of slower, I would recommend the Legend um, because this has kind of a slower pace romance and it's more like just slower. Um, and Racer is definitely new adult. This is probably her youngest book, I would say. Like it's it's not as adulty. It's it's definitely in the new adult genre. And then Man Whore is definitely more like erotica slash like a businessman type book, which I love. So this one is just terrific. And then the White House duology is definitely more adult. I say those are a little bit more slow burning, definitely, in my opinion. Ladies Man and Womanizer are both like very, very angsty and like slow burning, which is maybe why they're not like my favorite, but I still really love them. Tycoon also kind of reminds me of Womanizer and Man Whore. So, like, her books are very much like either on like the sports side or the business man side of like romance and I, I just really love them both. So I highly recommend you check out Katie's books. I hope I guided you in like the right area to start with her books. I would say start the real um, trilogy or series and then um, maybe check out the man whore series. That's kind of the order I recommend her books and then I recommend her other books after. So. Yeah, I just really love her books. I can't wait for whatever she comes out with next. She hasn't announced anything new yet, but Racer just came out like two weeks ago. So I don't know, but I need to know what she's writing next. I hope she starts some sort of like new series or something because I just love her books and I hope to one day own all of her books. I'm slowly collecting them, but I really hope that that happens soon. So I will leave all of Katie's um, social media links down below. She's always on Twitter and she pretty much replies to like everybody and like she's liked a few of my tweets that I've tweeted to her so like she's always kind of lurking on there. So I will leave all of her links down below and I will leave the links to all of the Goodreads pages for these series and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.